Hello Taurus and welcome to your energy update. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you enjoy today's reading. I upload a brand new video every single day at 6am Brisbane time for Taurus. If you'd like to be notified of your daily guidance on different aspects of life, you can always hit that notification bell and choose all. That way you won't miss an upload. All right, let's go ahead and see what your energy update for today is. If you haven't already, check out your soulmate reading. I'll put a link up there for you. I did that one this morning. Let's have a look what messages there are for you, Taurus. What messages there are. Okay, straight up, we have an informant coming to tell you something. Now, it could be a Sagittarius in some cases. The Page of Swords is all about curiosity and the need to learn something, the need to know. Okay, it's all about research, finding things out. Okay, specifically something. It's all about being clear minded and very focused. Uh, could be about, like I said, a Sagittarius. Temperance means moderation. Temperance means taking the middle lane. Temperance is also about balance, okay, balancing something out um, and putting a cap on something, okay, not um, too hot, too cold uh, in a situation in life where simmering down a bit. Queen of Swords, she's very disciplined, okay? Queen of Swords is uh, truth and justice. She doesn't like to play games because she's worked hard to get where she is and she's done it the hard way. She's gone um, the scenic route in everything, not only because she wants to learn and she wants to know everything, but because it's her own exciting um, passion to know okay and she, she wants to go through life uh, experiencing it all the ups the downs the ins the outs because that is all the more uh, information for her to gather okay when she gets to know someone she wants to know everything um, and she might even be doing some research in the background because that is who she is she wants to know the truth okay if you want to know the truth about something that's the person to ask but um, you know be prepared for everything <laughs> because she knows everything so you could be going through a phase Taurus of looking for something in regards to perhaps an air sign female now queen of swords could be an Aquarius Libra or a Gemini okay temperance is Sagittarius you could be doing some research on a Sagittarius so you could be wanting to find something out I need to get more cards to see what else comes out but we're, we're moderating something so let's keep going okay so five of cups is about grief sadness remorse and regret okay in regards to something to do with our past could be recent past it could be past from long long ago but Five of Cups is all about that grief and that sadness and feeling of despair, a disappointment perhaps <clears throat> in regards to something in the past. Uh, very clear-minded with the Page of Swords. Also, um, some information that's coming towards you because the Page of Swords is a messenger of information. You receiving information from somebody or on your own okay looking something up but yeah it could be about a Sagittarius but it could very well be just about um, in order to balance something out okay now we have strength a Leo strength is all about that courage bravery and alliance teamwork the unconditional love unconditional love for someone that may have done wrong for you it's like they did this but I still love them okay so oh, loyalty and trust 
Now, uh, Three of Wands is about taking that first step forward. Three of Wands is sometimes travel, sometimes overseas travel. It's not the vision and it's not the dream. It's about taking that step forward, actually doing it. Okay, action forward is the three of wands. Looking stuff up, finding things out, sadness, regret, disappointment. But now we're taking a step forward in something. Now we have patience and investing our time, our effort, maybe even our money into something. Okay, because we know it's going to have a high return. We're being very clever and uh, we can justify how much we're waiting and how much we effort we put into this because we know we're going to get our rewards from it soon. Seven of Pentacles is all about patience, investments and saving for in some cases. We may be moderating our expenditure in some cases. Just saying for some of you, we may have some regrets. We find something out and we've got regrets, but now we're taking a step forward towards uh, patiently waiting. Okay. Ooh, the Magician is a very powerful card. Now, the Magician is our, uh, that this is the thought. Remember how I said Three of Wands is not thought or vision. It's taking the step. The Magician is taking a step backwards because here we're actually thinking here we're actually thinking about what we want to create because we have all the resources that we need in order for this to work it's like um, I'm going to make a cake and I've got all the ingredients so now I'm going to actually make it uh, that is the process with the magician it's it's a whole process gathering your tools gathering your ingredients having the will and the power and the desire to make it as so and then you do you make it so that's a magician okay the queen of swords is very loyal to creating something making it happen bringing the thought into the reality all right, this is generous uh, giving. Uh, also could be giving and receiving. Now we've got some sadness. We've got information coming in, some regret and sadness. Taking that first step forward and someone generously giving that is assisting us. This is a uh, resourceful giving, someone giving you something that's going to help you resourcefully on some level and you're waiting for something. Okay. And justice is Libra energy. So justice is, again, much like temperance, finding that equilibrium. Uh, justice is sometimes the legal, uh, a legal card about legalities, uh, more so, it is all about balancing something out. It's about truth. It's about, um, you know, being real with yourself. It's an epiphany. And also, justice is sometimes destiny. Let's go ahead and see what else comes out. Okay, perseverance with nine of wands. We may be a bit guarded. We've done so much. And I'll be honest with you, Taurus, throughout this reading, I've got a lot of uh, fragmented energy. There's, it's like we've got our focus going here, there and everywhere a little bit. We may be multitasking because we are putting our energy in a few different areas of life in this reading uh, we're feeling a bit of grief but we're moderating this we're putting a cap on it we're kind of um how do they say bottling it up okay our grief finding something out that gives us grief but we're bottling it up we love them anyway unconditionally 
but we're not going to put up with any more crap with the Queen of Swords. Uh, we're putting our best foot forward here. Okay, we're trying to move through this grief. Uh, and we're invested in something loyally that we're creating. Now, someone comes in giving us something that's going to help us along our way. Uh, and we're continuing on in, to, in our investment and our waiting and hard work and perseverance, okay? Uh, and we're being very real with ourselves, very grounded and very balanced, okay? Throughout this reading, I can see that you're trying to remain at your core very grounded, okay? throughout all of this but you've got a few other little things that like spanners being thrown in your road uh where you're just trying to navigate yourself and stay focused but you've got all these these extra energies around you the empress which is beautiful and fantastic for you taurus because this is about taking that moment to look in the mirror and see yourself clearly the Empress is all about uh, realizing that you really need to uh, care about yourself a little bit. You need to, you need to take care of yourself. Uh, with you know the Empress, it's all about why am I doing this anyway, and what am I doing? How far have I come? It's that reality bite moment where you just real and you got that with the justice card too. Uh, it, it's like a moment of, okay, now I'm just going to reevaluate everything and what am I going to put my energy into? What do I really care about? What I re do I really love? And why am I doing this? Because I'm exhausting myself with the nine of wands. Okay. Oh, perfect. Uh, this is where you make some important decisions, which is really what you need to do. You need to start thinking of what to cut away and what to keep. Okay, because like I said, your energy has been going a little bit here, there and everywhere, fragmented in different different spaces of you. Uh, and now you're having a couple of moments where you like, why am I doing this and what am I doing? And taking a step back and looking at yourself and saying, okay, I need to make some decisions because I don't know if I can continue the way I have been going. So this uh, this reading looks like it's a reality bite for you, Taurus. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what the Lenormand have for you and what guidance and advice your guides and angels would like to give. What advice do you have? Perfect. Three cards, my favorite. Your angels, okay? When the puppy comes out, it's basically your guardian angel saying, hey, i got a message for you. Everything is going to be all right, <laughs> which is beautiful, okay? The clover is saying everything is going to be okay. You're going to be fine. Taurus, the universe has got you back. And a fresh start okay something new is on its way it's unforeseen you can't see it but it's coming okay you're gonna be all right you got a lucky break coming towards you which is really something that you need okay wow what a beautiful reading for you taurus i sure hope you enjoyed it you got a lot to look forward to and yeah a few moments of of just epiphany uh, and trying to figure out what you're trying to create um, a, a few stop start moments but it looks like it's all coming to a head very soon and you're going to realize exactly what you need to do okay Taurus if you liked it please hit like and help my channel to grow by subscribing I appreciate that so very much. It helps my channel grow. And as always, Taurus, I send you so much love. Peace and light. Bye for now.